the long-awaited Oma Diving Academy. So it's finally out. We're going to be walking through, taking a look at some of the features that I've updated since the uh, behind the scenes videos and showing off some of the features, areas and mini missions that will come with the Uma Diving Academy. So come along as we explore. Here we are on the dock of the Oma Diving Academy. I'm super excited to show off what the creation has become. I know some of you are following patiently as I uh, progress, as I added features and showed behind the scenes. So this is the final product. Obviously there may be small fixes and changes and updates, but this is what's gonna be released today. So come along as I show off some of the features while not showing all the secrets of the, mi of the map, which there are some. And uh, there's also mini missions that you'll have to explore. I'm not going to go through how to do them in this video. I might make a tutorial later on, but I do want people to actually uh, try to beat the missions themselves for the gratification of passing the diving academy and becoming a Oma diver. So we start here on the dock. And this is um, a nice little dock where we have a boat spawning. So, oh, by the way, everything I'm showing is what comes with the map. So this little diving boat comes with the map. So we have the diving boat right here. There's a towfish on the back with a crane. Now this is used in a mini mission, but obviously you could use it otherwise for fun. There's a little cabin. This is based on the regal built um, boat that I created recently, but it's uh, Oma liveried. Little bench on the end. These lights turn on automatically when it's night, so you end up with a nice bright dock. Over here we have our boathouse, so right down from the diving academy itself. And as I said, if you walk behind this, I've added a little um, water jet, uh, water jet or jet bike or whatever. Obviously a jet ski, but that's not what we're calling it. It's AB Marine uh, jet bike, I believe. So it's tied on back here, lashed, you could use that. If you go into the uh, boathouse, by the way, some of these areas may be locked. I'm going through what you unlock when you reach the captain level. So the boathouse may be locked for you when you first come here. You can't explore everything right away, you have to beat the missions. And I, I mean, hopefully you guys won't be upset. I was struggling to find a purpose for making a building. Because truthfully, vehicles are much more useful in this game. A building will just sit here and people can just run through it and never come back. So I wanted something that's meaningful. So that's why I came up with the Diving Academy, which has mini missions. It has little features that you have to explore. So if you can't access everything right away, just uh, go through the missions and you'll get access before you know it. So the boathouse, if you go down the stairs, obviously, there is a nice viewing platform that's underwater and a little ROV station. Now the ROV you can use after you unlock it from a mission. So when you first spawn, this is going to be locked as well. There's a little utility room with some batteries. As we have it now, the boathouse is not attached to the main building, but you could bring the power from the main building. A little sitting area if you want to sit underwater, if that's your thing. These some little um, tubes if you want to go tubing for fun. Obviously, I mean, just decor, but that's kind of the point. And some other um, inflatables back here. So that's all the boathouse area and dock. We have our nice main sign. So welcome to the diving academy. You make your way up here. Now we have a massive um, diesel reservoir, almost half a million liters. So the generators pull power from here. If you refill your vessels, you do it from here. Now also worth noting is that from there, you can actually spawn uh, starter size boats or submarines and they'll spawn right here. So I purposely didn't put the diving boat here. This is where uh, you'll spawn something. So we're just gonna go ahead and spawn the walrus here. 
and that's a starter size boat. They start underwater because it's meant for submarines, but if you do come to this base, you could actually use it to spawn vessels. So here we have the walrus here. Obviously, <laughs> I, I, even I didn't think the walrus was that much larger compared to the like the diving boat, but it is. Anyways, that spawns here. So I just went ahead and removed the walrus. Uh, if we continue around the exterior, we have a nice little covered patio area here with some tables for sitting and studying as well as another bench over here. Now you can't walk around this side of the building. It's built into a cliff face. But if you make your way around the back, we have our garage building, as well as a back access with roof access. You have your electrical room. And over here, there's more kind of like rocks and random things that you can't quite get to. So more of the landscaping. Now also just gonna throw in this, this, this can only be properly spawned on the diving base or the, on the base with the submarine tunnel and uh, cave. So the actual um, creation can only be spawned on this uh, map and it'll work properly only here. Otherwise, it will not work properly. It'll not look good. And I mean, you guys won't have fun. So keep that in mind that it's only possible to spawn it on this base. If we make our way to the main entrance here, and walk in, the double door is open and we have the main lobby area. This is called the Great Hall. We have some trophies, we have a security office, there's some tables you could see kind of like balconies above and this huge uh, staircase. So the reception desk gives us two notes. So keep an eye out for these types of notes. So if you take a look at this, welcome cadets, you're free to explore. You're staying in room 5 up un until you rank up, and the classroom is open from 5 to 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Second note gives us a URL for a video. Now this video can only be accessed through this URL. There's no, um, it's not live on my YouTube. So you have to watch it and it's going to have uh, the reception video pretty much. Little seating area here. You could see the window and you could kind of get a glimpse of the diving pool but we're gonna get to there soon uh this little device there is the uh oma rank uh booth so that's where you type in your progress on the keypad that unlocks the building so currently we have typed in the the password for the captain so that's why everything's unlocked otherwise you have to go through and manually uh, beat the missions and get your code over here is a plaque you guys can read. A security office. So inside the security office we have a little camera station. And we have uh, cameras for the whole building. As well as some, uh, you could lock all the entries. You could turn on the security perimeter lights and there's a big uh, alarm button. Over here there's an armory, which as well as unlockable once you become the captain rank but it's just a bunch of weapons and stuff for defending against pirates or unsavory types if they try to take over the island. The trophies are here, and in the mini-mission in the located in the pool, you can actually rank up, and I'm going to keep these updated for a few months with uh, the latest rank that someone gets if they send me a video proof or photo proof. But please don't try to cheat it. Just be fair to everyone. It's more fun that way. Here's the garage workshop. So we walk in here. We got our generator. Some repair areas. We have two vehicles in here. We have a, a forklift and, a, and a ATV quad. There's some boxes. This one's used for a mini mission. And here's the electrical room that also has access to the outside. Now I'm going to add a light in here. That's something that I'm gonna add right after this video, but here's all the main electrical circuits of the building. There's a little um, area above that a mezzanine level with a little uh, control booth as well. If we make our way back here, here the, we have an elevator that has a nice little weather station and all the floors. Infirmary. And over here is the classroom. So as I said, we currently unlocked all the ranks, so that's why they're all showing green, because they're all beaten, as the captain level is the highest level. So there's a little classroom. 
if we make our way up to the second floor, again, elevators here, we have the mezzanine level of the workshop or the garage. See our little elevator arrived. We got some equipment storage here. And then this is the cafeteria. So in the cafeteria, we have our nice little um, cafe with the burger, fries and drink decor, as well as pool tables and some seating for the cadets to attend to, or to sit and use when they're attending the facility. And you can see that it's overlooking the lobby area, which looks nice. Now, if we make our way through these doors, this is the diving pool. And I'm sure this is what all of you guys are interested about. Something I'll show you now that I've added is a storm effects. So this creates the rain and lightning effects of a storm for this thing. And you'll have to figure out how to use that. There's a mini mission. I'll leave the lights on for now. This is one of the mini missions. So this is a uh, mission 12. Over here, we have something to do for mission two. Got equipment here, little hot tub for relaxing. And then over here, we have our sp speed diving challenge, but it can only be done if you're captain. So I, the reason for that is because it, it requires going into the boat and the cave system that we have here. And if we, uh, so if you're not captain rank, you can't get into the cave system. So that you, you couldn't complete it anyways. These, these are the cave and the boat are locked until you reach the certain rank. Got a little laboratory here with all sorts of equipment and samples. And then over here we have our, uh, patio or call it a submarine launch. We have the Manta 2 mini sub and we have this uh, structure, this frame structure that can be used to uh, deploy the mini sub. Now currently the mini sub is not used in any missions. It's more just for fun, but it does look really cool and quite usable. Now you deploy it by dropping the winch down and once it's in the water, you take off these cables, you climb up to the deck from here, these ladders and put the cables away and uh, off you go. So that's here. All right, so we make our way up the stairs or up the elevator. Let's take the elevator to the third floor, which is the offices and the accommodation. And once we're on this floor, we could hold the elevator for us so the door won't close. Now we're on the top level of this uh, great hall or elevated area. We could see all the way down. Over here, we have our accommodation block. So the, it, it kind of has a more warm hue. It has hardwood on the floors. There's a little uh, living area here that you saw through the elevator where the crew can watch TV. And we got our rooms. So as always, the rooms have their own circuit for lights so you can turn them off when you're sleeping. Got our shared room for the uh, cadets and the lower level of the um, rank. And then as you level up, you unlock the nicer rooms, which include single bunk rooms. And then you unlock a suite with a fireplace. And it has a nice double bed and a nice little living area and a beautiful view. So this is when you're the second highest rank. And then of course, our highest rank, the captain, has a little seating area, has a fireplace, a living area, a bed, and what's nicest of all, a private patio with a little light and pergola and a hot tub. So the captain can party it up. They earned it. If we go through these doors here, we're on our patio area. And if we turn on these lights, you can see that there's a fully stocked bar. Now, be careful and not don't get too drunk, but you can enjoy your time at the diving academy. So you got a little bar, a barbecue, pergola with a table, a bar, another bar table to sit at, and a bench here for sitting on this cool um, cantilevered area that has a view below. So you can actually walk over here and kind of look at the water below. It's very beautiful. So that's here. Now the area over here has a uh, dance floor. And these lights 
can only be turned on for your captain rank. So only the captain gets to decide when it's time to party. And there's a hot tub and ping pong table. And this deck wraps around to a little sun lounge chairs and a door into the staff lounge. If we go back here, we have our little cubicle offices. There's two of them. And there's a reception desk here. We have our HR office in here. We have the commander's office in here. And the conference room, which is a beautiful big space with a little model ship and projector. And this is where you start the final mission. So mission 12 is activated from here. So that's why these areas are locked until um, you gain access. And then these two offices as well contain uh, where this is where you come in to get your your uh, Omerank. So I'm not going to go in there because I don't want you guys to see the Omerank. You get that from in there. You you pick up your ranks from there that you could plug into the kiosk down there. And when you want to kind of save your mission or save your progress. So that's all here. If we pop into the elevator, we'll turn off the hold and we'll go up to the roof level. On the roof level, we have uh, the helipad, where you can turn on the lights and spotlights. And there's a nice little um, electrical bunker, or battery vault, with a spare battery that you could connect to the main grid if you are in really bad shape as well. There's some electronics on the top of this, the siren and that type of thing, the weather station. And the last, oh yeah, also you could, so down here, Remember how I said there is roof access on this back stairs? That's here. You come up the stairs and you come to the generator. So now the generator is, um, there's four actual motors inside this one unit, or four uh, engines. It could be manually started up, or it could be, um, you could close the fuel valve and then it won't start manually, but also it starts up automatically if it notices the batteries are running low. So that's an automatic thing. Now we could head up to the last floor, which is the communication tower, and it's only open to the captain. So in the communication tower, this is a, a diving academy, so it's not really like a communication center or some type of thing like that, but we do have a little table area for sitting. There's a radar and um, a radio and a map. So you get to have some of the things that the ships have, but that's not really the focus, as well as a, an emergency exit if you need to escape. And uh, that's pretty much it. And there's roof access as well, so you could actually take this ladder all the way up to the roof. Oh, there we go, up all the way, nice. So there we are on the very highest point of the, of the building. And then if we make our way down the elevator, back to the lobby. And watch through this little window. We go through the whole building, come to our lobby level, and then we can go to the garage for the last bit of information. So here, you make sure you disconnect the rear connectors and uh, turn off the handbrake if you're driving the forklift. Otherwise, you're gonna have a very difficult time getting it going. The little uh, forklift this is the smallest forklift that I've made. It can actually drive its way all the way down to the dock and kind of around here. So it's a useful little contraption. And then the uh, quad, as well you have to disconnect it by pressing 5, and then you take it and drive it as you want. So this, this guy is more for the off-road scene, if you want to go up the, up the rock, you could take the quad, whereas the forklift won't have a, as good luck coming here. 
so there you have it that's the uh diving academy i thank you all for supporting me i thank you all for watching this video and uh comment let me know what you think of this place and uh yeah i can't wait to see what you guys say happy stormworksing